All right, guys, let's take a look at the, the Sangamon Watch Company. Now, when I first read the Sangamon Watch Company name and the branding, I was a little confused on what that was. A, little, a quick research discovered that that's a pretty major river in the Illinois region, and that is where the company is founded, Springfield, Illinois. So learn something new every day. So these guys actually sent over a full kit and gave me a cheat sheet here, which I'm not going to read from, but you're more than welcome to pause the video and read this yourself. Um, I don't just read things. So um, as far as like regurgitating this information on the video, I will certainly put a link in the description and you're welcome to look that up and read basically all this information yourself. But I mean, this basically covers everything and more than what I'm going to cover in the video. So let's look at the watch because that's what these videos are for, for you to look at the watch. So what we have here is a, uh, well, a Route 66 inspired watch. And you're going to see some of that design language carried over into the watch itself. Primarily, check out that dial. That's basically like a Kreger SS type wheel design on there. So how cool is that? Um, I don't think that wheel is, well, it's still pretty popular. Was it a torque thrust wheel? I think was another one. Uh, some different brands out there. It's definitely a very popular wheel, even in today's, uh, you know, muscle car or, or whatever kind of car you're building and stuff like that. Um, it's definitely a popular wheel. Classic five-spoke design, rounded and everything. I don't know. Car guys will get it. Let's talk about the watch. So you're looking at a 44 millimeter case, a very long 53 lug to lug. So it's going to have a lot of wrist presence. 14 and a half thick, but you can see that's because of that domed sapphire crystal up top that sits very proud. That's where it gets a lot of its thickness. 22 millimeter lug width comes on this uh, rally style leather strap. It's using the Seiko NH35 movement, non-screw down crown. So you're going to be able to wind in the first position, pop it out, sec or you know, first popped out position is going to be your day change. And then of course you're going to be able to hack and adjust the time. I will say one thing that is kind of missing here on the dial is any sort of hours or minutes or anything like that. So you're going to have to rely on the good old information in your noggin to be able to tell you that this is basically, uh, you know, five after nine. So, I mean, you, you certainly have on the outer perimeter bezel here, you have your 12, one, two, three, four, five, but it's a little ways away from where the minute and hour hand is. So, I mean, you, I mean, that's there. Obviously, you have that information, so not a big deal. Um, the reference is there. It's just not as close as you would typically see on the hour and minute hand, but this is more of a, you know, style piece, if you will. And then, of course, on the inside there, they left that open to basically mimic a speedometer. I know you're seeing my reflection on the sapphire, but it is what it is. Um, and so the orange second hand is basically kind of like your speedometer needle or, or whatever one you want to pick. But because that's orange down there, it kind of ties in. So you can see this sucker will do 120 mile an hour before you uh, peg the needle. No, just kidding. So signed crown on that. Check out that pressed case back there. It has four screws holding it down. Tons of information there. Very smooth. Well done. There's no sharp edges. Limited edition. Uh, I believe they made 310 of these. So Mother Road, Route 66, Japanese movement, all that good stuff, stainless steel, five at most water resist or 50 meters, essentially. So let's pop this guy in the wrist while we check out some of the other things that it comes with. And then, of course, you didn't, if you missed it on the, uh, the letter I showed you in the beginning, the price tag on this is $2.99. That's with the discount over the retail price. So there you have it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. So as you can see, it's 44 by 53. That's going to fill the wrist. Certainly for, um, you know, I could go larger, obviously. I mean, I can go much larger on a watch if you want to wear a big watch. But this is definitely on the larger size, but it's kind of spread out pretty good. You know, it's not too massive in any direction if this is the size watch that you kind of gravitate towards. So the other things that it comes with is a Route 66 patch here that you can, you know, put in your car somewhere, stick it to your headliner or whatever you want to do. The other thing it has here is this Route 66 keychain. How appropriate, correct? Yes, I believe so. 
And then it has these really heavy metal cards that comes with it. So it's uh, you know proof of ownership, basically two year international warranty. All of that would be filled out. Comes with this little um, fold out thing here too that just gives you a quick detailed and uh, some information about Route 66. Very condensed, obviously, because there's a lot of history and it's a long road. And I think most car guys desire to actually take that complete journey, including myself. I would love to drive all the way from Chicago via Route 66 all the way to Los Angeles, even though I know certain sections um, are a little rough, to say the least. Now, I have stayed near, uh, I forget where I was at, somewhere in um, New Mexico, somewhere along the border. Yeah, I can't remember where I was. Um, but somewhere along the border from Texas to New Mexico, I stayed at a hotel right on Route 66 once, and that was about the closest I was able to uh, get to actually driving on Route 66. So one day, I will do it. But uh, anyway, guys, just wanted to share this watch with you and um, let you know that these are out here. The, oh yeah, I want to show you this too. So if you're interested in other watches from Sangamon, they actually sent over these too. So they have other like more dress style watches and they are, they do like some pretty wild case backs on all of them. So that's like the Lincoln River limited edition. And they all come in some pretty nice boxes. Um, here's some other ones. These are like, um, like the Freedom Series here, it looks like. And check out the case back on that, 1944. So World War II commemorative type things, um, different uh, campaigns and everything. You, know, you can see that's the Omaha Beach collection. And then here's the collection for the watch I just showed you, which is this one, which I, I was able to pick. They said, which one would you like to see? I, I wanted to see that one. But I didn't notice that one. I know that's funky, that's pretty funky, but I don't know, you know, this is kind of like a, a style type watch. Um, so maybe take it a little less serious and maybe go for the funk in it and uh, that's kind of slick. Plus it makes that Krager wheel like pop a little bit more otherwise that one would be really cool too. So anyway guys, there it is. I'll catch you on the next vid. Thanks for watching.